Hey, Tyler, what uh, what is the uh, the trick, if there is any, to to trying to parlay what you guys did yesterday with a lot of guys, young guys in this team that have not been used to winning, having a taste of that, and and maybe realizing how good you guys can be to take it to the next game and and and, and forward there to maybe try to get something going here. Yeah, I think. Uh... I mean, you got to learn how to win. I think that's uh, something all teams have to do at some point is, is learn how to win games. And, um, you know, I think yesterday was a, a step in the right direction to prove that to ourselves, um, that we're never out of a game and that no matter what the situation is, uh, you know, we can win it. And, you know, that's the that's the first one to really, um, I guess, just get the momentum going and, and prove to ourselves. I mean, we know we could do it, but now we went out there and proved it and uh, just keep building on it. Tyler, Tyler. What is the emotional swing there for you guys, uh, you know, especially on offense, you got to come out there and make plays, but what was the emotional swing like? Um, you know, like after they scored that touchdown, we get back to the sideline and, um, you know, everybody was kind of thinking it. It's like, okay, we got to score a touchdown. I mean, they missed extra points. So we got to score a touchdown, get an on side kick and score again. Like you, you say it and, you know, you know, it's possible. And then, uh, you know, you go out there and you, you you get a quick score like that to Corey, and uh, all of a sudden you get that that emotional swing. Oh, we can we can do this! Like everything we just said we need to do it is very possible, and um, you know we just we kind of just rode, rode that momentum and believed, uh, just kept believing that that we could do it, and you know it ended up working out in our favor. What was it like? What was it like seeing how uh, how excited Joe was after that game? You know, a guy who's done so much in his career and to have a moment, you know, like that after a tough opener. What was it like just watching him react? No, it was awesome in the locker room. We were all sitting in there, we were all jumping around, and you just watch Joe, and he's jumping higher than anyone, damn near hitting the ceiling. But uh, you know, to go out there and throw for three hundred yards, four touchdowns, upon the performance he did. Uh, you know, it's just um, you know, I'm just happy for him, and I'm happy we got to go out there and show everybody that you know he's. Still, Joe Flacco and can can still do this. Tyler, did you uh, did you thank Max Mitchell for for jumping on that ball for you? Yeah, I, I owe him dinner because you know ball security <laughs> is something I'm usually pretty damn good at, and I haven't been these first two games, so it's something I gotta get figured out because um, you know it's uh, not acceptable, and it's, you know, I've been hard on myself about it. It's been beating me up all day today, to be honest. So uh, yeah, I owe, I owe Max uh, I owe Max dinner for that one, and uh, get that I'll get that shit straightened up. What what and what's it been like seeing uh, Garrett Wilson kind of emerge the way he has? I know you, you guys have seen it since training camp and all that, but like to, to see him perform the way he did yesterday as a rookie in week two, like what, what did that say about him? No, I think it was just a matter of time. Uh, you know, like in the in the preseason, just talking to people. Like I talked to DJ Reed about it. I know he said something about it yesterday. But I was just asking DJ, you know, who what receivers have been tough to cover, blah, blah, blah. And, he always said Justin Jefferson, and I, and I was like, well, you know, Garrett, they, they move similar, the way they kind of have those, like, lanky strides and, you know, just slippery, you know, kind of like Euro stepping down the field. Um, I just – I see a lot of similarities there, just his, his ability to go up and get the ball after the catch. Uh, it's just so dang slippery, and I think it was just a matter of time before he, uh, you know, broke out like he did yesterday. Tyler, how about the way that Garrett uh, conducts himself? I mean, you, you've been around a lot of receivers sometimes, you know, they can be stereotyped as divas or whatever, you know, high maintenance. He doesn't seem to have that in him at all. He, he seems to be, for as, as young as he is, super conscientious. And I know he was beating himself up over that drop yesterday. And um, how, how have you seen him, you know, maybe more mature than his age would indicate? Yeah, I, th I think you're right. I think uh, I was even surprised by it. He's just so down to earth. Uh he just, he's just he he knows how to be a rookie, I guess, and just go out there and play and earn your stripes. And uh, he's just a, he's just a good a good dude. And uh, yeah, I mean, he made up he made up for the the drop, obviously, going out there and, and clinching that game. You know, we all have good and bad throughout games. So uh, but yeah, I, I think he's definitely very mature for his age. He, I agree with you. He doesn't seem to have that diva in him. Um, he's just a really really good dude and a really good football player. Uh, you were pretty vocal last week saying, uh, not that you imagined a comeback like this, but how important was it to get a win like this after everything that happened last week, things that Robert said, things like that? Yeah, I think it's huge just for the fact that going back to us proving it to ourselves, we know how good we can be. We know uh, the players that we have on this team, but just we had to go out there and prove it to ourselves that, um, you know, who we really were. And I think that was a, that was a huge step. 
And uh, you know, also for the fans, we have such good fans here in New York. And uh, to go out there and get a win for them, I mean, it's the first one in September since, what, 2018. Uh, so, you know, it just feels really good to go out there and, and uh, get a win for, you know, the city and the fans uh, on top of all of it. How much do you enjoy playing with this group? You talked about the relationships you forged early on after signing here, but now a couple games into the season. Um, how much do you like – playing with these guys and can you talk about what you've got building in the locker room yeah i love it um i was thinking about it yesterday on the plane ride home uh you know just the uh, the excitement uh, the camaraderie just all of us hanging out on the plane after uh you know it's just uh we all like being around each other we all like doing stuff together and uh it's just a lot different feeling than what i've had in the past and uh you know i think that's one thing that can really make us a special team you know just keep building that team chemistry and uh, you know, we love playing for each other and with each other, and I think that goes a really long way. Tyler, what is it going to take to get this type of offense each and every week, this consistency? Yeah, I think it's just uh, it's in the details, you know, every single week. It's, it's a hard league to win it, and, you know, it's a great feeling to get a win in this league, but we got to, you know, it's a new week. we got to get back to the drawing board and, and hone in on the little things. Uh and, uh, you know, just keep keep getting better because it's a long season and there's just so many. You no, know, we get a win. And you do so many good things on the field, but there's also so many little things that, that need to be fixed. And I think we can just every week uh, build on the good things and um, get better at the things that we need to get better at. Then uh, the sky's the limit for this offense.